This is Shweta. Uh, today, I just wanted to quickly cover a very common scenario that we face, but also one of the most uh, difficult scenarios to debug. It does take a lot of investigation to arrive at the solution. So I'm going to quickly talk about, uh, you know, performance issues on an atom or molecule. Like in many scenarios, we tend to see executions in pending state or, you know, slowness of the atom. So I'm going to speak about how we can debug this situation and what are some of the steps I take in debugging this. So I'm going to share my screen and show my account, the platform account. So I'm, I'm currently going to show one of the Atom that I have installed on my local system. So this is the local Atom that I use for most of my testing purposes. This is a Windows Atom that I've installed on my system. So one of the main things that I look at when I review the Atom is one version and what is its status, what type of a runtime it is. So this is some of the basic details that we capture. And then I move on to looking at the startup properties. What are What is the architecture of the runtime this is built on? So you'll also see the infrastructure. So generally, this is showing a Windows, but it could also show AWS if you are, you know, if the runtime is built on AWS and stuff. OK, so that's a quick gist of what are some of the requirements and, you know, how the runtime is built. OK, um, moving on. So I take a look at the logs as well. OK, so first thing that we look into is checking the logs if some performance issues are noted. So I'm going to, uh, of course, my Atom won't have a lot of um, you know, events, but when a customer reports a similar issue, it does have a lot of uh, alerts regarding maybe low memory or, uh, you know, some of the shutdowns, random shutdowns, what could cause that. So I'll also look at deployed process. So currently I don't have much running on this, but if the Atom has a very high load, you can also see the slowness so the you will have to come back to startup uh, properties check what is the system memory that is allotted go to the properties and then look at the heap size of this particular atom and if you have forked execution enabled on a molecule then you will also have to look at the heap size allotted there so currently it is about 512 mb but for the kind of processes that I run, it is absolutely OK. So why I'm speaking about this is we had a scenario yesterday where a customer reported there was a lot of slowness. So when I take a look at process reporting, I can see that you know there's a lot of uh, pending executions. And every second, that could change because it is waiting for the availability of resources there. OK, so we can also go to deployments check in the you can put out a filter here within the date range what if i mean within the month if there was any load changes to this particular runtime and another thing that i generally look into is so i'm going to take this execution as an example let's say i look at the process logs so what happens is sometimes the initialization of this process what i'm pointing out to right now is the timestamp that process reporting is showing versus what the logs show, the process reporting logs. If we see here, it is almost an exact match, but just a couple of seconds. So that is all right. If it is taking a few minutes to load or initialize this particular shape, that means there could be some issues going on with the infrastructure of the runtime. And Yesterday, in, in the scenario that I was talking about, how we managed to resolve the issue is we went into the atom management. We saw low memory alerts in the container logs. We saw communication issues. This was creating a lot of you know, performance issues, basically, on this particular runtime. So we went into the properties and 
you know allotted 16 gb of heap instead of 8 gb for the load that it was uh, going through the runtime which really helped in resolve the issue so these are some of the things that i look into as the first troubleshooting thank you